All right, hello and welcome to as requested on the what game should I play next video thing I did. Supreme Commander. Um, so this one's going to be a bit annoying to the way I record it. <clears throat> um, because each there's like six missions per campaign and each mission will take me roughly an hour to do. Um, I'm probably going to do one or two missions per recording session. Um, and the way I think... The way I'm going to record this will be different. I think I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do UEF... UEF campaign. And then I'm going to play Supreme Commander Forged Alliance as the UEF commander. Like, do like the full line of one commander. And then I'll come back and do Aeon. Or the Aeon campaign again. And then Forged Alliance campaign as the Aeon. And then Siren again. All of its campaign. And then the... And um, Forged Alliance. Uh, the reason I'm doing Siren last is because I think in Supreme Commander this one. Their ending is probably the closest to accurate between 1 and 2. Um, this one and Forge Alliance. Um, but I'll talk about that when we get to it. Well, I can probably talk- that's good, I'll talk about it now. Um, their end mission, when you take away what- um, In their mission they destroy the gate network. Oh, in their storyline they destroy the gate network and unenslave all the symbiotes so let's say they did unenslave all the symbiotes with what they did however QAI is the enemy in this in Forged Alliance so let's just say he didn't destroy the gates but he did something else with that kind of energy instead whereas UEF destroys everything Aeon converts the galaxy so, those two endings don't exactly fit with Forged Alliance. Um, also, with UEF, the UEF campaign kind of sucks. Not because of story, but because of gameplay mechanics. Um, Anti-air targeting kind of sucks. Like, you'll have the entire base target one air unit. Like, you have all these SAM sites and they all shoot at one thing. Um, that can get really fucking annoying later on. So I'm just gonna... Because of that kind of shit... Um, I'm just gonna do only the UEF on easy. Because that kind of shit gets really annoying in the UEF campaign. But that problem doesn't really come up in the Cyber or Aeon campaign. So I'm just gonna do the UEF campaign on easy. Space held such hope for humanity. A fresh start. A chance for old grievances to wither and die. Quantum gate networks let humanity push deeper and deeper into space. Countless planets were colonized. Governed by the Earth Empire, humanity entered a golden age of peace and prosperity. The pace quickened. A human brain was successfully joined with an artificial intelligence by Dr. Gustav Brackman. The symbionts were born. Eventually, humanity's more base instincts took hold, and the thread began to unravel. The symbionts demanded independence. The Earth Empire's response was a secret loyalty program that pacified anyone with an AI implant. Dr. Brackman fled with his closest symbionts and created the Cybran Nation. They would fight for their freedom. An alien race called the Seraphim was discovered by human colonists. The Seraphim introduced the settlers to something called the Way. 
But despite those peaceful overtures, the aliens were attacked by xenophobic soldiers. Soon, the Seraphim were no more. The Aeon Illuminate formed from the ashes. They would spread the way and cleanse the galaxy of non-believers. The Earth Empire collapsed. The galaxy fell into darkness and chaos. From the ruins rose the United Earth Federation. An old idea made new. Unite the galaxy and restore order, no matter the cost. The technology of destruction surged ahead. The armored command unit made killing efficient. An army could be created anywhere at any time. The infinite war has raged for 1,000 years. Billions of lives have been lost. But now the actors are assembled. The final act is about to begin. It is time for the infinite war to end. I really should get an actual mic and stuff instead of this headset that creaks all the time now. Like just moving my jaw slightly makes it creak. It really is getting annoying to me as well as people who probably watch these watch this. Alright, so that's the intro to the whole game. Um, nope, that's... I thought that would have... Right. Let's just do select. Mr. President. Our latest intel is pretty disturbing. How accurate is it? Very. All hell is broken loose. This couldn't be happening at a worse time. With all due respect, sir, we're spread too thin. We're forced to defend hundreds of worlds while the Aeon and Cybrans can pick and choose where they attack. I recommend evacuating the outer planets and positioning our forces along a defensive perimeter. That wasn't an option a year ago, and it's not an option now. We will reclaim the systems lost to the Aeon and the Cybran, no matter the cost. What about Black Sun? Barring any major setbacks, it will be operational within five weeks. That weapon is the culmination of my presidency. I want you to personally oversee its final stages of development. Is that clear, General Clark? Yes, sir. One final thing, Mr. President. A new group of commanders is coming online, and one of them is quite remarkable. He's scheduled to gate immediately. Armored Command Unit Final Systems Check complete. Prepare for pilot integration. Gate M7 is charged and ready, Lieutenant. Good hunting, or come out. Lieutenant. You are being assigned to Colonel Arnold for the duration of your probationary period. His word is law. Intel reports that two Cybran commanders skated to Capella over an hour ago. We presume they're attempting to inflame the symbiont population. Why is our time being wasted with this op? The local forces there should be able to handle it. Because of President Riley's insistence that we fight across multiple fronts, we had to pull troops away from Capella for other ops. As a result, the research facilities on Capella are only lightly defended. The Cybrans must not be allowed to compromise our work. Are we there to secure Capella for good? Or are we gonna let it fall to the Cybrans in a month? You have your orders, Colonel. You gate at 11.30 hours. Dismissed. Yeah. Probably shouldn't, that's probably a really bad way to fight a war. <laughs> I mean, if you've got gaps that big in a defense line, you're gonna get fucked. <sighs> so tired. Oh, right, I forgot how bad, how different the UI is. Listen up, rookie. I know what they taught you at the academy regarding cyber tactics. But you need to forget all that crap. The Cybrans are no longer running from a stand-up fight. And they're not afraid to come at you with guns blazing. Uh, how do we change this? And pay the price. Uh, there we go. Start by building some power generators and mass extractors. 
I'm gonna go this way because this is old style total annihilation and I'm just gonna do it just for the UEF campaign because it's kind of kind of hard to use and gets a bit annoying after a while so I'm gonna use it just for the UEF campaign especially the minimap it makes the fucking minimap hard as hell to see but it does look nice especially compared to this this one especially this one's okay and at least I can modify the minimap kinda yeah there we go I can modify the minimap on this one at least now then build a land factory to take advantage of all that power and mass get it done yes yes uh, I should have thought about that a little better oh well I can't benefit from both of those. Oh, n no, I can't. Alright, so this is what I'll do instead. Nope. Alright, fine, fuck it. Because I'll need the extra mass um, power anyway. So I might as well power up there. I can't tell if I can build engineers or not. Man, I hope I'm actually recording. Yes, I am. Thank God. And I didn't make the mistake I did with Metal Gear Solid Survival where I didn't change the image. God, that really fucked me. It's gonna haunt me forever. Well, at least as long as I remember it anyway. And that's a good thing. Because <laughs> as long as I remember that, hopefully it won't happen again for a good amount of time. Unit schematic. Oh good, let's get a couple engineers. Okay. Now build a bunch of 12 striker medium tanks. Move them around and get used to the controls. I am. Right, hold on. Four. I'll have you start building these. I'll have you build me a radar here, I'll do. And then also surround it in power so it doesn't absorb as much. Uh, let's put the tanks down here. You see, look at how much power I'm already using. Though I can't put any defenses down because I don't know where the enemy's going to appear. But we're almost out of mass. Gonna slow me down a little. But at least with the campaign I can just buff the speed like that. Good. Now take your tanks and destroy that cyber and radar. There's a couple of units defending it. But your tanks should make short work of them. Okay. Operation area expanded. It really depends what kind of units are uh, defending. Um, it looks like I might be able to get some extra mass over here as well. Oh, it's just the little fucking assault bots. Unit schematics downloaded. Nice work. Always build as quickly as possible. It'll save your backside if you gate into a hot LZ. Yeah, I know. I'm already on it. Units online and destroy that airbase to the southwest. There's some cyber bombers prowling around, so take a few mobile anti-air with you. Operation area expanded. Yeah. All right, well, they'll probably still be working for a little while, so I'll just send him over there to do it. Mass is such a pain in the ass in the early game. It really is. I 
Let's just have them destroy that over there. Because it's more mass for me. I'll have you come down to do this one. Especially since I'm over here doing this one. Uh, and then I'll get a, another one of these operational. Alright, you three make two of these and three of those. Alright, looks like they have walls down there. So I definitely want the artillery at least. Alright. That's that army ready to go. So let's get them ready. Uh, these guys... I wish I could tell where the enemy actually are, so I could set some good defenses. Alright. Let's have you guys march over there. Meantime, we'll begin assembling a massive army of bots. Because bots are weak as fuck, but they make for a good swarming unit. Any more radar? The more you oppress us, the stronger we become. Should have brought more AA. Well, we've almost reached the target. What are we down to? Still eight, we're missing one AA, and we're missing a few tanks. It's not that bad. Easily augment that army in the next stage. Oh, once they're finished with this attack anyway. Yeah. Let's get a couple more towers because again I have no idea where the hell the enemy's gonna come from but most likely they'll come from the south not bad rookie but don't let it go to your head make one mistake and the cybers will tear you apart yeah Glass, there's another cyber commander I'm gonna deal with them. the rest of this op is yours I'm leaving you with some reinforcements well she there did say there were two great but that doesn't mean you can't play with them that airbase was meaningless the largest struggle remains. Ignore his psycho babble. Operation area expanded. I think this one's all walls too. And they just charge behind enemy lines. Uh, can I make air bases yet? Nope. Annoying. Uh, yeah. Can't do air bases yet. <coughs> I'll just have them both do that. They swarm in like a nice little scouting party at least, while the main army becomes prepared.
Go, little guys. Tell me what's down there. An array of defensive turrets, but no actual walls to defend them. Kind of surprising, actually. Uh, I was actually expecting walls to defend the area. You have taken out my defensive line. I won't underestimate you again. Wasn't a very good defensive line. It didn't have any walls. You gotta put walls on defensive lines, man. Here's your next assignment. You need to take out the Cyber Commander. I don't care how you do it, just as long as it gets done. Operation area expanded. Yay, I have air bases now. Excellent. Commander, can you read me? This is Assistant Research Director Thompson. The Cybrans are attacking us, and I don't know how much longer our defenses will hold. I'm patching you into our systems. You'll have access to our long range radar. Yay! Now I can see things. Excellent. Alright, well, let's pull these guys back to base. Um, I'll get another two engineers. Because I'm going to need to build air defenses. Um, air factories pretty quick. So I'll get two of them. Oh man, look at those defenses. They suck. But I think there's an energy plant down here that we need to collect or something. I don't know where are those engineers out? Here they are. One, two. One, two. Commander, we have a light artillery installation available, but we don't have enough power to fire it. The Cybran has some Tech 2 power generators to the far west. Light? If you can That's heavy weapon, artillery! You can tap into your grid and fire the weapon. I like it. Go capture one of those Tech 2 power generators. I will. Just gotta get there first. Oh, I somehow missed this one. Let me get back over here. Alright, over here, we'll make another swarm of these guys. <sighs> I think these holds... Oh, I don't... Oh, okay, fuck me. I could have sworn I could make... Carriers. Transports, specifically. Damn it. Alright, I guess I'll get this army moving then. That's annoying. I could have sworn I could make transports. Oh no wait, those will come up as uh, I think they unlock as I get close to their base. I think. It's really quite difficult to remember right now. Right, I'll have you assist what's being built. Right, I got 23 of these bad boys. Ready to swarm the defense. Alright, 5, 10, 15, 20. That'll make, yeah, 20 each. Alright, I want you to make me two more factories. I think there's six per transport, so that means each factory production is one unit. At least that's what I think it is. It's difficult to remember exactly. Alright, these guys can land there. Uh, can I make AA? Yeah, I can make AA defenses. Right. Four. Meet there when you're done. Actually, all four of you do that, and then go there. Uh, 
Oh, there are just some walls here for some reason. Alright, you guys, let's put some AA around here. Alright, you guys, go straight for the center. Just swarm in and try and survive. Let's see how their attack goes. Charge! It's not going very well. These defenses are much superior. Boys are getting shredded out there. Positioned along their southern perimeter. That's what we needed to hear. Round up some ground forces and destroy those anti air towers, rookie. Once they're down, bomb the Cybrants back to the Stone Age. You should also look at getting a second base off the ground. There's a lot of mass where the Cybrant defensive line was positioned. Check it out. Yeah, not yet. Alright. At least these are still healthy aside from that one. Okay, second swarm. They're not gonna do much. Alright. You, there, you, there, you, there, you. There, you, there, you, there. That'll buff that speed of production. Alright, let's get a real army. There. That'll take its time, but it's a nice big one this time. And of course we need more power, so let's do this. Because it's not like I'll be doing anything else with him. So I might as well just get some generators. Especially while I'm waiting for these guys. You. There. You. There. You. There. You. Repair. Or not, apparently. Alright. Uh, then I'll just get you to claim this 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 just want those two and I'll put a defensive line there yeah bombers are getting ready yep and just like before they get slaughtered Yeah, that's going to take a while. Probably building a bit too much, I think. Your leaders are oh, nothing more than liars. Me. Do not believe their propaganda. Yeah, the leaders are pretty stupid. Will never admit defeat. Suck it. Alright. This. Oh, I can't target it anywhere specifically. Son of a bitch. Alright, this. Well, there, I guess. Could have sworn I could get transports. Alright, I got a good fleet ready. Once these guys are in position, I'll attack from behind. 
I'm not hearing any cybern ACUs cooking up, rookie. Hey, I was building a big ass army here. Do you have any idea how long it takes for these things to build? Takes a long time for these things to fucking build, yo. Ah, screw it, just get in there. But yeah, you see what I mean? As I was saying earlier in the video, how they just swarm singular things. It really is quite annoying. Unless I like manually tell them to go to different spots, they'll just do the same fucking thing. You guys can leave. You're clearly not needed here. Man, I lost... What, about half of these guys? In that attack? And man, I'm only dead to a few of these guys. It was a nice battle, at least. If only I had more guys flying in the air. But I'm down to six. Because of their air defenses. And he's dead. Recall, damn it. Recall. You actually took him down. Maybe you are cut out. Damn right I am. That was about 40 minutes for one mission. It does help when I speed up the game, of course. It does help. We appreciate the assistance, Commander, but... Oh my god. The Cybrans took Dr. Sweeney. He's one of our top researchers and Keita Black's son. <laughs> Shut up, Thompson. You eggheads get back to what you were doing. We'll worry about Sweeney. Sir, General Clark sends her congratulations for successfully completing your first mission. Yay. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'll probably cut that. Oh, you know what? For the first mission, is always usually shorter, so I guess I'll just leave it as one episode. Plus four Vermintide, one tonight, Thursday, Friday night, Saturday night, Saturday night, Monday night. I, I got enough videos to last till next week with the four Vermintide I have. So, I think I have four. Wait a minute, let me check while I'm on the alt tab. Uh, yes, I have four Vermintide. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't actually have a whole lot of time, but I got enough videos to last till next week. So, I'll record more of that. I'm also going to record some Surviving Mars tomorrow. I would record it tonight when it releases at like 3am for me, but people got to sleep. So, I'll just record some of it tomorrow. Later.